Today's the big day. I get to record the audiobook for my new book, Leaves, Roots, and Fruit. It is the perfect day to record an audiobook because it's like rainy and cloudy out here. So I can't be gardening anyway. Might as well be narrating my book, right? So we are at the Sound Emporium. This place has been around forever. So many people you might have heard of before, like Johnny Cash and Taylor Swift and Casey Musgraves. They came here to record some of their albums and I get to record my gardening book here. What is my life? It's crazy. So uh, come on in and let's go get started. historic studios in Nashville. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was walking through, I'm like, no way Taylor Swift recorded here yep. in Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Yep, the whole soundtrack was done here. Casey Musgraves, Little Big Town, Kenny Chesney, uh, back in the day, Johnny Cash, Kenny no Rogers. Okay, so we just start? Yeah, That's it? If you're ready, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's do it. Not a problem at all. Okay, so I just sit up here? Yeah, I got a chair for you. If you'd rather stand, just whatever works best for you. I may stand to start. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Or should I like start out the way I'm going to hold out? Uh, I mean, we'll do whatever is most comfortable for you. So if you want to stand, I'll get the stool out of there real quick. All right. So do you like gardening? Yes. You do? I have a ton of houseplants. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I was about to say, you're going to be so bored. No, I because uh, Steve at Hay House sent me the book yesterday, and I was like, oh, sweet. This will be great. Because <laughs> I was like, I was getting ready for this, and I'm like, I sure hope that this guy isn't like so sick of hearing about plants because he's going to want No, to I literally them. have like probably 20 or so houseplants in oh, my that's apartment. Awesome. So. That's awesome. Okay, so I, I was watching. I'm like, I've never been like officially recorded. It's like watching like <laughs> ways to warm up your mouth and they were like Q E Q R <laughs> Come in look it's a book Isn't this fun? Oh my god so cool Okay just had to show you that and crossed our fingers when we planted a few watermelon seeds too and our garden setup was a little better and accepted some of their extra seed packets with names like Rocky Top Lettuce, Dwarf Siberian Kale, Wild... I mean, granola bar. I didn't grow this. This isn't in my book, but I need it. It's comfort food to help me get through. We are almost two chapters in, in like an hour and a half. It's pretty cool. I think Taylor Swift's out right here. I'm sitting in the chair that Taylor Swift sat in. And like a lot of other famous people. Um, it's like a pinch me moment. So, I'm eating a granola bar to celebrate it. Beds and ordered a truckload of the best soil we could get. Instead of heading to the store for plants, we toured our friend's garden. We began with the tomato. One of the most demanding vegetables. Technically it's a fruit, but we'll discuss that later. Not a problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. We also attempted cucumbers in a pot on the deck. You may only be on the second step of your garden journey, but growing a year-round supply of organic, delicious herbs is no small matter. Even if you stop at this step and remain an herb gardener for life, you'll still accomplish the garden-to-table experience, have something you can add to dishes nearly every day of the year, and find yourself with handfuls of happiness you can keep to yourself in the midst of a busy season or share with others to help them through theirs. Herbs are the kitchen gardener's most generous gift that never stops giving. And that's a wrap. 
All right, we're done! Yay! So I learned today that I say grinds instead of greens. I didn't mean to. But I'm now questioning my accent because he said every time I thought I said greens that it sounded like grinds. So my Mississippi is coming out a little bit. It's kind of scary. Anyway, it was very good. I'm very tired. I think that talking into a microphone for four hours straight is quite an Olympic exercise. So I'm very thankful that I get to do this over three days. And I can't wait to give this book to you guys. It was like, I was thinking of you while I was recording, thinking like, I hope this doesn't put them to sleep. <laughs> No, seriously, if you are looking for a book that's going to help you go to sleep, I do think this might be one. Like, you can listen to it when you're awake, but it also will probably help you go to sleep at night. What do y'all think? Maybe? <laughs> like, very, when you wake you up? You have a calming voice. Yeah. So it yeah. is, it is yeah. a nice, like, yeah. wind-down book as well. I'm going to, like... learn a lot about Guardian. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Will you be on video? Can we ask you a question? Yeah. All right, Molly, interview him. Oh, no, I'm not ready for the, yeah, the on-camera interview. interview. It's stressful. Yeah, yeah, you, you interview him. Okay, you have heard the first four chapters of my new book, Leaves, mm -hmm. Roots, and Fruit. So what's your thought? Because you're already a gardener. I love it. I've learned a lot already okay. about microgreens. I have a bunch of houseplants myself, but I didn't know everything about gardening for microgreens and learning about that has been really interesting and now I want to start my own little herb garden really badly. Yay! <laughs> you hear that? That's, <laughs> that's awesome. I really want to get one of those like little kits though that has like the yes. light that you can put in your kitchen. I yeah. think that'd be great. Yeah. It seems good. All right. What's the weirdest line that you heard in the book so far? Oh man. I don't know. It's okay. What was, I can't think of a good question that doesn't put you on the spot to actually remember something I wrote. Um, I was going to ask if, did, if you thought Nicole has been easy to work with. Very. Very easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this has been the worst session. <laughs> I bought him lunch so that I could bribe him to say yes. It's been fun. And actually, he's so nice. Like, whenever I say things really awkwardly, he's, like, really nice about it. He's like... Um, that was awkward. <laughs> and then I just redo it and it's, it's it nice to have someone, you need a friend to tell you when you're awkward. That's like, you know, it's important. If you don't have someone to tell you that you sound awkward, then you shouldn't make it. Are they your real friend? <laughs> it's like when you have kale in your teeth, you know, if the person won't tell you, it's just not good. Are they really your friend at that point? So will you be my person every time or I have to do a new person? Yay! Catch you every time, all three days. All right, so stay tuned for day two. Woo! <laughs> so far, we are basically, we're like four chapters in. We're going to do a little, little bit of the fifth chapter. And once you know the leaves, roots, and fruit system, we're actually in the leaf, the leaves part. So there's a pretty big intro that we did today, two full chapters that really introduce you to the whole system. We did those, and then we've done the first two chapters of the leaves section. So we're going to try to do one more. <clears throat> if my Violet the Voice, I'm going to name her Violet. If she can do it, we're going to do it. All right, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I can't wait. Bye.